But we begin with new details on a mobile home explosion. We first told you about an eyewitness news this morning. The manager of the mobile home park believes a propane gas leak is to blame. The blast leveled a home that was all prepped for sale. And tonight, the state fire marshal's office is investigating. Eyewitness news on the scene Sunday of a mobile home explosion on Hemlock Drive in Gloucester, getting a daylight glimpse of the Saturday night havoc. A vacant trailer leveled, neighbors floored. The noise was like I thought an airplane crashed into it. it just everything just shook. About 10, 10, 13, I was sitting on the couch watching TV, and next thing I know, the whole trailer shook. I heard a humongous boom. All of a sudden, we see a red flash and boom, and we see the building drop. At first, I thought it was my car that that actually blew up. Willis Leonard lives right across the street. Flames in my yard. The insulation was on fire. Came out, tried to put some of the flames out in the yard with my hose. <laughs> we ran outside and I was going to get a fire extinguisher. I should, oh, forget that. Kevin Kitson is the park's manager. He tells us the destroyed home had been on the market for about six months. You see the realty sign. I was praying it was the mobile home that we actually had for sale. It's obviously evident that uh, it's a gas leak. Willis Leonard's home has minor damage. There's a skirting that goes around the bottom that's all blown out. I have some screen damage, shutter damage. Uh, no windows broke. It's amazing. No windows broke. I had pictures on the walls and things like that there, and they came flying off. I'm glad that everybody's safe around here. That's the most important thing. Forget about that stuff. That stuff could be replaced. And again, nobody was hurt in the blast. Neighbors tell us they heard the explosion was felt on Sawmill Road. That's over five miles from the explosion site.